The film opens with Carla, a Mexican college student who is checking on her neighbor's health. Carla is in her final semester of college and will soon graduate as a doctor. After checking on her neighbor's health, Carla returns home to meet her older brother named Mario. They live alone in the house, while their mother works at a factory in the United States. Mario then informs Carla that their mother has sent money for her tuition, which Carla plans to collect the next day after classes. The following day, while attending class, it shows that Carla is one of the top candidates for doctors at her university. Meanwhile, Mario meets with an intelligence agent to provide information about the cartel leader, Mendez, as Mario turns out to be an informant. Concerned for Mario's safety, the agent advises him to disappear for a few days as the cartels have found out Mario's status as a police informant. The agent also mentions that many other informants have been eliminated by Mendez recently, and he doesn't want Mario to become a victim. Upon hearing this, Mario attempts to stay calm and agree to the agent's demands. Meanwhile, Carla returns from campus and stops by the money changer to pick up the money her mother sent the day before. She becomes suspicious of a man who appears to be watching her, but she tries to stay calm. Carla then contacts her mother, who works in America, to express her gratitude and inform her that she is collecting the money. After getting the money and glancing at the man, it turns out that the man has disappeared. Later, Carla is surprised to find Mario packing when she returns home. He urges her to leave with him for a few days, leaving Carla puzzled about what's going on. She is also astonished to see Mario has a significant amount of savings. Mario finally confesses that he has been working as a police informant. At the same time, their conversation is interrupted when two cartel members, sent by Mendez, arrive to eliminate Mario, so Mario and Carla rush out through the back door to escape. Tragically, during the pursuit, Mario is shot by the cartel members and killed instantly. They then chase after Carla, who flews to a car junkyard. After hiding for some time, Carla stumbles upon a tunnel and decides to enter it. Despite feeling scared and panicked due to the darkness, she persists in her journey. After feeling safe, Carla first tries to treat the wound on her hand before continuing to explore the tunnel. After spending several hours navigating through the tunnel, Carla finally emerges and finds herself in a warehouse. As she explores, she's taken aback to spot an American flag, indicating she's now in the United States. Carla then exits the warehouse and tries to find someone who might help her. When Carla sees a house, she decides to go inside while calling out for the owner. Carla is also very surprised to find a fan running, but there is no one responding to her calls. When Carla is about to wash her face in the kitchen, she is almost shot by a woman. To her surprise, she discovers the lifeless body of a man with long hair nearby. Carla pleads with the person who shot her to stop because she is not a bad person and just wants help. It turns out the woman who shot at her is revealed to be Enoch, a severely injured CIA agent. Carla assesses Enoch's severe injuries and offers to provide medical assistance. However, Enoch loses consciousness due to excessive bleeding. Acting swiftly, Carla transports Enoch to a room and begins treating her abdominal wounds. As she searches for pain medication in another room, Carla is suddenly struck by someone who has just arrived, causing her to lose consciousness. When Carla regains consciousness, she is confronted by a man who demands to know her identity and why she's in the location. Despite her silence, Carla mentions saving someone named Enoch. The man, David, a CIA agent, immediately checks on Enoch's condition and discovers the body of a man named George in the kitchen. David, having just arrived, is puzzled by the situation and presses Carla for answers. He clarifies that they're in a safe house owned by American intelligence, which makes Carla's sudden presence highly unusual. Carla finally reveals that she's from Mexico, where her house is near the American border, after she accidentally entered a tunnel which ended up there. Uncertain about Enoch and Georgie's fates, Carla advises David to ask directly when Enoch regains consciousness. Upon learning this, David escorts Carla to the tunnel she mentioned. During their journey, Carla asks David about their identities and Georgie's role. David explains their CIA agents, with George serving as an informant. Carla then leads David to the tunnel situated behind a warehouse, revealing its existence to him. 
David speculates that the tunnel could have been constructed by cartels for smuggling illegal goods from Mexico to America, because the warehouse existed long before the safe house was built. Eager to understand how Carla accessed the tunnel, David listens as Carla recounts the entire sequence of events, including the recent demise of her brother and her status as a medical student. Upon their return to the safe house, Marco, David's colleague, arrived unexpectedly, accompanied by an informant. David promptly directed Marco to escort the informant to a secure room, where Marco promptly removed the hood and apologizing because he was following the procedure. The informant, named Susan, reveals herself as a former subordinate of Alcaraz, expressing a desire to collaborate with the CIA. Meanwhile, Carla is asked to recheck Anak's health. When Marco arrives, he asks about Carla, prompting David to provide an explanation. David then instructs Marco to bring Carla to Susan's room. Upon arrival, Susan questions why she's being confined, to which Marco assures her it's for her safety. Susan then asks Carla's status as an informant, to which Carla denies, admitting she's merely trapped there accidentally. Susan then share her decision to testify against Mendez, her former boss, for which she'll receive payment from the CIA. Susan also mentioned that there would be two witnesses, and one of them was her colleague, George, unaware of his demise. Meanwhile, Enoch regains consciousness and recounted how George suddenly wanted to withdraw his intention to testify in Mendez's trial, leading to a confrontation that resulted in George's demise. Upon learning the situation, Marco urged Enoch to rest. Meanwhile, David remained curious about Carla and sent her identity card data to CIA headquarters. Shortly after, Marco returned to explain what had happened to Enoch and Georgie. Following this, Marco went to Susan and Carla's room to offer them drinks. However, Susan quickly exited, claiming she needed to use the bathroom. At the same time, a cleaning lady named Margareth arrived at the safe house in her car, intending to begin her routine cleaning. As Margareth entered through the back door, she accidentally caught sight of Susan and Marco, returning from the restroom. David, observing Margareth on CCTV, promptly approached her and instructed her to leave, providing gasoline money and assuring her they would contact her once the safe house was ready to be cleaned. Following a discussion between David, Susan, and Marco, Susan expressed her desire not to remain confined in a small room any longer and insisted on being with them. She warned that if the CIA continued to confine her, she wouldn't cooperate in testifying against Mendez. In the end, David agreed to let Susan stay in the guest room under Marco's supervision. Meanwhile, David decided to arrange for Carla's return to Mexico along with George's body, aiming to keep her out of their affairs. He instructed Carla to change clothes and cover her head. Once they were a safe distance away from the safe house, David permitted Carla to remove the covering, explaining it was a security measure to prevent unrelated individuals from knowing the safe house's location. He also inquired about Carla's parents, to which she replied that her father had passed away and her mother worked in a factory in America. Meanwhile, Margareth is back at her home when she notices her boyfriend gazing at a photo of Susan on his laptop. She informs him that she recently encountered the woman unexpectedly. Her boyfriend immediately becomes concerned upon realizing that Susan is now wanted by Mendez, offering a hefty reward for her capture or death. Not long after, Margareth and her boyfriend approach one of the cartel leaders, Leo. Her boyfriend then reveals that he knows Susan's whereabouts, as Susan was set to testify against Mendez. Leo is taken aback and demands to know her location, but Margareth's boyfriend insists on being compensated first. Leo then contacts Mendez, disclosing the situation, and is instructed to use Margareth and her boyfriend to locate Susan. If Susan is found, they are to be disposed of. Meanwhile, David and Carla arrive at the border and meet with the CIA agent. David presents George's body, that would be taken to his home in Mexico, and decides to leave Carla in their care to prevent her from interfering with CIA operations. However, David's colleague warns that returning to Mexico would put Carla in danger from the Cardinals, as her deceased brother Mario was also an informant. For Carla's safety, David had to keep her at the safe house until the situation stabilizes. In the end, David took Carla back to the safe house. Meanwhile, Enoch, who was recovering, 
unexpectedly grabbed a pistol from the closet and shot Marco. Her primary aim was to eliminate Susan, as she also desired the bounty offered by Mendez. Additionally, Inat clarified that she killed George not because he wanted to flee, but because he was also wanted by Mendez. As Enoch reached for the fallen pistol, Marco suddenly shot her. Shortly after, David and Carla finally reached the safe house, finding Marco injured. Marco explained that Enoch was a CIA trader seeking money from Mendez. David then instructed Marco to stay calm and asked Carla to attend to his wounds promptly. On the other hand, Margareth and her boyfriend led Leo and his cartel group near the safe house, observing from a hill to confirm Susan's presence. Shardy after, they spotted Susan attempting to leave, prompting David to intervene. However, Leo's sniper, Moya, shot Susan in the shoulder. Fortunately, Carla provided immediate medical assistance. After that, Leo and his group ruthlessly murdered Margareth's boyfriend. Witnessing this, Margareth attempted to flee, but Moya swiftly killed her. Later, Leo and his group approached the safe house with the intent to eliminate Susan that day. Meanwhile, David was seen gathering weapons, including bulletproof vests, preparing for the impending confrontation. He checked in with Marco to ensure readiness for the fight, to which Marco affirmed. David then instructed Marco to escort Susan and Carla out through the back while he remained inside to confront the attackers. Shortly after, Leo and his henchmen began infiltrating the house, sparking a shootout with David. Meanwhile, Moya spotted Marco, Carla, and Susan's movements, with Marco swiftly deployed a smoke grenade, and they took turns evading Moya's attacks. However, Marco was shot in the abdomen while attempting to move, prompting them to seek refuge in the back warehouse. Meanwhile, David continued the shootout, managing to eliminate one of Leo's henchmen. Leo, emerging from the house, asked about their target, Susan. Without hesitation, Moya pointed towards the back warehouse. Shortly after, Leo entered the back warehouse to search for his target. At the same time, David stealthily searched the area and encountered Moya, whom he promptly eliminated. Back in the warehouse, Leo eventually discovered Carla hiding alone. Threatening her, he demanded Susan's whereabouts. Initially resistant, Carla refused to divulge any information until Leo moved to eliminate her. However, David intervened just in time, eliminating Leo. Carla then led David to Susan and Marco's hiding spot, where they found Marco severely injured, prompting them to flee. Not long after, Carla found herself in a hotel and watched news of cartel boss Mendez being convicted based on Susan's testimony and sentenced to death. Soon after, David appeared and escorted Carla elsewhere. During the journey, Carla asked about Susan and Marco. David reassured her, stating Susan was safe and residing in Italy, while Marco was on vacation with his family. After several hours of travel, David and Carla reached their destination. Curious, Carla asked why they had stopped there. To her surprise, David revealed that he had arranged for Carla to pursue her medical studies at the top university in America. Furthermore, as a gesture of gratitude from the CIA, Carla would have opportunities to work in various medical departments. David then instructed Carla to step out, because the house in front of them was now officially hers. As Carla approached the house, she was greeted by her mother, who would now live with her. And so, the movie concluded. Moral lesson from the story, Never try to wash your face in a stranger's kitchen, or you might end up inheriting a house and becoming a doctor in America.